Well, coffee, tea, and vodka aren't just for drinking anymore. Here to show us how you can transform unexpected ingredients into natural home hacks is our naturally savvy nutritionist, Andrea Donsky. <laughs> today and yes. uh, we've been learning a lot now food hacks these are these are interesting things you will find them in the kitchen that's right and you can use them for other things yes. besides eating and drinking and I wouldn't have thought of some of these things because l tell them what we're starting with we are gonna start with vodka with vodka vodka what are we doing with our vodka well it's one of the most popular alcohols in the world because it's versatile yes right so chances are if you like drinking alcohol or even if you don't you probably have a bottle in your home yes right so what you can do if you're in a pinch you can use it to clean and to keep flowers fresher for longer the flowers like vodka too <laughs> the flowers <laughs> it's not just for us that's amazing okay so my second question is why would I want to waste my vodka just joking okay so let's talk about the cleaning I I, I kind of get why vodka it's uh, odorless it's very clean colorless it's colorless yes. so how are we using it then okay so if you're in a pinch and you run out of your bathroom cleaners you can yes. use it to clean tile so it's really good at removing mold spots. So what you do is you take a spray bottle, I'm going to have you do this, you sure. fill it about a quarter of the way up with vodka and then balance with water. Just and water. Then you, just water. And then you spray it on your grout, on your caulking, yeah. and you let it sit there for about 15 minutes. Okay. Then All what right. we do is we take a rag, any type of rag, yeah. and we just wipe it clean. Okay. And it comes oh my right gosh. off. That comes right off. Right off. So this is a major issue for a lot of people. Grout, there's nothing more annoying than seeing stains in oh. the grout or, you know, all those spots that get in the, uh, in the bathtub tiles. That's right. So that's great. It's great. And then I you did can not know it. that. Right? Great hack. And then yes. you can use it to clean your mirrors and your countertops as well. Oh, the same fantastic. spray. Mm -hmm. Oh, and we should mention, this does not have to be Grey Goose. Like, no. we're not talking about... <laughs> it doesn't have to be expensive. No, it can be really cheap alcohol, okay, too. It's good. the alcohol that does the trick, right? right? So as long as it's odorless and colorless. I mean, colorless is the most important thing, but it's yes. the alcohol that does the trick. Now, how are we using it for our flowers? This I have never heard of. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to... I mean, when you get flowers, either you buy it for yourself or if Leon buys them for you. Yes. You can take them from your garden too. Yeah. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a teaspoon of vodka yep. and a teaspoon of sugar. So I'm going to do the vodka. You put in the sugar and you put it into your vase with water. Okay. Now the vodka, what it does is it acts as a preservative and prevents the flowers from wilting. Oh. And the sugar feeds it. Got it. So it makes it last fresher for longer. So then what you do is you want to take your flowers, cut off about a half an inch to an inch yep. off the stem. Yep. You want to get rid of that bacteria that may be present. Yes. Put it in, leave them in for about three days and then change it every three days with the same Formula. So this is basically you're using this instead of the uh, plant food. That's right. Like instead if of you the didn't get food. the plant food, that's right, or you, or you ran out, out of accident. it. Yes. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. I love that. Right. Okay. Moving right along. What are we using here? Okay. So now we've got cornstarch. So cornstarch uh, in the kitchen, we use it to thicken sauces and soups. Yes. But we can use it for other things like cleaning, first aid, and even getting rid of smells. Oh, first aid. Okay. So this is my favorite hack, Tracy. I don't. Do your kids love stuffed animals? They do. Oh my, my gosh. Obsessed. Right. Yes. I have so many in our house. I don't even know what to do with them. Yes. So. I didn't realize you can actually clean stuffed animals with cornstarch. Okay. So I learned the hard way because my daughter has this amazing, gorgeous, big, used to have, yes. big stuffed animal, and I wash it in the washing machine. I didn't realize you and couldn't wash it. Fell apart completely. So oh, I've done that before, throwing them in the washing machine. I guess it depends on the stuffy, though. It does. So hers fell apart completely. She oh. was devastated because I ruined her stuffed animal. I was devastated because my washing machine was an absolute <laughs> mess. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, like a nightmare, right? You're cleaning everything out. So I discovered this great hack. So what you do is you take a stuffed animal or a pillow, those fuzzy pillows. Yes. Put them inside a bag. Okay. Then you take some cornstarch and you pour it on top and you coat it really, really well. So you okay. make sure it's nice and coated. Yeah. You close the bag. You want to cover it. Just close it up just in case you don't want to get it everywhere. Yeah. Shake it up. Leave it overnight. And by morning, take it out. You can put it out. Shake it outside or vacuum it and you've got a cleaner, fresher stuffed animal. Oh, Isn't man. Isn't that great? Yeah. What a great job. Oh, I love it. It's like my favorite. Amazing because those animals go through a lot. They like do, they're right? Filthy. Oh, and completely. Oh. And even when you buy them, they're filthy. So. Yeah, that's anyway. actually that's true. That's very true. <laughs> Favorite hack. Okay, so then what you can do is you can also use cornstarch mixed with baking soda to make a salve. 
Okay. You can add in a little bit of aloe vera to it because it's mm. healing and it's great if you burn yourself or if you get a sunburn. Yes. Just leave it on the wound for about 30 minutes, cover it with some gauze and it'll feel a lot better. Oh, that's a good, yeah. that's a great mix. By the way, we put these online, cityline.tv, so that you can, you know, mix them up and, and, and use them at home. Awesome. Now, I wonder why you brought dirty sneakers in. <laughs> well, my son, first of all, I have three kids and my yeah. son is 15 and he plays a lot of sports. So his shoes stink. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. so smelly. So what you can do is you could take cornstarch again or handy cornstarch and pour yeah. it inside the in, inside the shoes on the insoles let it sit overnight and it'll absorb the odor just like baking soda would right it's okay. that fine powder it'll absorb the smell so they'll they won't have a smell in the morning <laughs> right and you don't have to do anything in the morning you don't have to take no, it out or anything can just like it's back just going to absorb yeah. okay and then i'm just going to show you a quick hack here with For the sure. vodka mix that we use what you can do is you can use the same hack just yeah. add in some antibacterial essential oils to it. Yes. Like rosemary or lavender, and then you could spray it in the shoes afterwards if they're not as smelly. Yes. The great part is, is the alcohol and the antibacterial properties of the oils will help to minimize the bacteria that causes the smell in the first place. Oh, really good. Yeah. So it's preventative, preventative as well as fixing Getting rid the of it, issue. Yeah. That is great. Okay, now moving into coffee, uh, right? One of my favorite things. That's it. So what can we use coffee for? We could use well, our morning cup, of ca morning cup of java. We can use the grounds for other things. So we don't okay. want to throw it away. Again, it's like upcycling, reusing, right? Yes. They can go further. Mm -hmm. So again, you could use the coffee grounds. It absorbs a lot of odors. So instead of baking soda, you can put it in a wide mouth jar in your refrigerator to absorb the odors or in a room that oh, smells okay. stale. Yep. And what you can also do, again, one of my, another favorite hack of mine, take the coffee grounds and put them into dishes that mm -hmm. have grease and food particles on. Mm -hmm. So the coarse texture of the coffee helps to remove it really easily. I can see how that would work really well. Isn't that great? So yeah. put it in an airtight container, keep it near your sink, and yes. it's so accessible. That's very which is great. smart. Now uh, we're talking tea. Right, so I love drinking tea, tea. So many health benefits to tea, but we can yeah. use it to clean our carpets and our glass and our mirrors. Okay. So what you can do is here, I'm gonna have you help me on this one sure. too. What you can do is you could sprinkle fresh tea leaves yep. or already steeped tea leaves onto carpet. Yeah. And you wanna mix it with baking soda. So then it absorbs the odor. So the tea itself absorbs odors, mm. as does the baking soda. So mm -hmm. again, leave it for about 15, 20 minutes and then vacuum it up. Very important though. If you're going to use a steeped tea leaf, steep tea leaves, make sure they're completely dry because yes. this is hibiscus, right? You don't want to put hibiscus onto a carpet, it'll actually stain it. That's right. Yeah. And then the last thing is what you can do is if you run out of glass cleaner, you yes. can make yourself a cup of tea in the morning, let it cool off, yeah. put it in a spray bottle and then use it to clean your glass and mirrors. And then you can spray it in your mouth if you're thirsty. <laughs> Because <laughs> you're adding nothing to you're it. You're adding nothing to it. It's literally just tea. Who would have thought that would Not do great? your mirrors? 